All right, good to see you all. My name is Ellie Cohen. I'm a medical Qigong practitioner, energy healing coach. Uh, today, we're going to continue the, our talk from last um, two weeks ago. We started talking about aging and really Taoism uh, and Chinese medicine. Uh, it's probably the best uh, resources on the planet in terms of like the, the depth of the research on in this topic and, and the suggestions a big topic in Taoism and, um, and a, 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 a big gift uh, uh, to really how to go about, about, about aging, about longevity is really a, a, core, a, a core element in, in Taoism. So um, <clears throat> I'm happy to share. And there's many, many aspects to this, uh, to this topic. And we kind of just scratched the surface and talked about the few elements that um, uh, we want to pay attention to. Um, so today we're gonna we're gonna continue that. So thank you so much for being here. Good to see you, Gail, Sharon, Carla, everybody. Um, and you know, if you're new to this, uh, if you haven't listened to the previous one, uh, please do because it's it's really a continuation. Um, just for the people that have not listened, I'm just gonna kind of uh, um, a, a, a little bit summarize what we talked about last time. But before we start. We always start with a little bit of a meditation of a, a qigong uh, kind of ceremony to launch the talk so let's uh let's get into our body allow yourself to close your eyes as you sit here now and as you close your eyes you put more attention to the physical posture so as you close your eyes you just notice are you kind of slouching are you standing are you sitting upright you know we're a lot of people sitting in front of the computer for so, so long and they don't really notice their, how they hold themselves. So let's put more attention into how we sit and how we hold ourselves in a sitting position. Notice, uh, and what we want to do, the key points are to align our spine with the forces of gravity so we can sit with minimal effort. So when the spine is aligned with gravity, we have less of a, we need less to, uh, to put effort, muscle, muscular tension to keep ourselves upright, to keep ourselves sitting, yeah. So uh, the first thing you do is to erect the spine towards the ceiling in the sky, uh, find a place of kind of a suspension of the spine. And at the same time, find a place of relaxation. So relaxing the belly, relaxing the shoulders, relaxing the chest. So as the spine kind of comes up towards the ceiling and the sky, the crown of the head, pull it upwards. At the same time, you can soften the belly, you can soften the chest, any tension from the body. and slowly give way to gravity. So really feel like you don't need to hold yourself up. You are being held by earth, by the forces of gravity. So feel the weight, the density of the body, giving way to the chair or, or wherever you're sitting on a cushion or a mattress. Just give weight to this, to the chair, yeah, or the cushion and also the feet are heavy on the floor. So acknowledge the force of earth beneath you and give earth all your tension, all your stress, literally. Also energetically, you can just empty, visualize like you're emptying all the tension in your body, tension within the muscles, tension within inside the organs, just drop them into the earth. And as you do that, slowly move your attention into the sensation of breath in the body. Notice, notice where you're breathing to. And see if you can deepen the breath 
lengthen the breath ever so slightly. Deep in the breath, maybe all the way to the lower abdomen. And you can breathe in through the nose, out through the nose, but make sure that in the end of the exhalation through the nose, open the mouth and see if you can release more of the air out. How much more air you can release at the bottom of the exhalation from the nose through the mouth. So deep breathing into the lower abdomen, inhale through the nose, exhale through the nose. And at the end of the exhalation, when you think you're done, open the mouth and see if there's more air can come out. Acknowledge the space around you, beyond your room that you're sitting in, beyond the ceiling, beyond the walls. Just expand your peripheral vision all the way to the horizon, to the sky, to the mountains, the lakes, the oceans, all the energy around you. And when you take the next inhalation, just to visualize as if you soaking up the energy as you inhale from all this abundance of energy around you from the mountains from the forest and that energy circulate inside of you all the way to the lower abdomen and nourishes taking in that abundance and making it part of you so you breathe the universe in with all its gifts, let it circulate inside of you at the top of the inhalation and then exhale through the nose, at the end of the exhalation through the nose, open the mouth, release the rest of the air out. And as you take the air in, it soaks into the organs and nourishes and washes the organs. Maybe you take that energy from a beautiful forest or from a place that you visited last year that was very special. Feel how this breath washes the internal organ. They soak the chi and on the exhale, you release any stagnant energy from the internal organ. Just immerse yourself in this visualization as you breathe. Nice and slowly relax the breath into a normal pattern. And from the center of your brain, from the place in the center of your brain, go there with your mind from that place. Open the eyes. Nice. And let the shine in the eyes come from the center of your brain. <laughs> Beautiful. Good to see you. Beautiful. And, you know, this is just an example of a breathing thing. This is a cleansing breath, purifying breath, you know, and uh, we talked about aging and, and all the steps that all the guidelines that Taoist practitioners uh, have put together to, uh, to, to really uh, 
find harmony be between yin and yang, between, uh, between the, the body and the spirit. As we get older, the, the, we, we get wiser, we get more tolerant, more resilient. We have a lot of gifts that young adults don't have. <clears throat> and uh, what we want to do is to really take these advantages. And, you know, the Shen becomes stronger. The, our, our, our yin energy, our spirit becomes stronger, more experience, life experience. And um, everything that is associated with the body and how to strengthen the body and how to keep it strong and youthful and young is 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 uh, being um, th this process is is being detailed very much so in in Taoism and what should we focus on when we talked about it last time the these uh, these keys the uh, the first one is uh, so but by the way all these keys all all of what we're talking about is how to not use the Jing energy we talked about prenatal qi and postnatal qi how to refine or amplify your ability to soak more chi while not using the jing. Yeah, if you remember. So it's all uh, the core elements of, of aging, uh, which, you know, it's related to the de degeneration of internal organ and accumulation of waste through what? Through, through improper way of living, through lifestyle, through food, through exercise, all the stuff that is related to postnatal chi. And so, Prenatal chi is the, uh, the energy you were born with, and it's associated with the kidney. Yeah, and that's, we've called it the savings account. The savings account. And the checking account, your checking account is the postnatal chi, is your breath, is, is the diet, is your lifestyle, is the stress, is all these things. And, and, and the, uh, all practices that are related to improved longevity and happiness uh, is related to how we can, we can become better at, at, at qi so we don't use the jing because the jing is the depletion of the kidney energy. And, and what happens when the kidney qi de get depleted? A loss of uh, bone density, loss of hair, thinning the hair, a shrinkage of a sh sexual organ. Uh, all these things are, sorry, you have a, a little halo here. <laughs> um, all these things are associated with uh, with fatigue. You know, people become tired as they go through. You know, become a later age. And you know, I've met I've met some Taoist monks that are in their well into their eighties <laughs> in China, and it's amazing the way their eyes shine so brightly and the way they go and 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 run like kids. It's it's beautiful. And, uh, and it's all associated with how we can maintain a strong kidney chi, how we don't deplete our savings account, and, and how we can be better at using our, our checking accounts, which is the postnatal chi. The postnatal chi, we talked about it. This is just a wrap from last, last time. Most important is breathing techniques. And Taoist practitioners say for aging, any mature adult needs to do breathing practices for at least twice a week even if you're not a qigong practitioner even if you're not like a a a, 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 a real avid a, a, a yogi or you know any general people uh, as they age they need to do twice a day breathing practices you have to understand that the lung and the lung, uh, there's a shrinkage in, in lung capacity between the age of 30 to 50 and 50 percent. And the lung is the most important organ in the body. It's the biggest detox. 70 percent of all toxins are being removed by the lungs. And so really breathing is the most powerful technique. Breathing technique, changing the way you breath over time. Daily practice would would teach your, your, your mind how to breathe deeply, how to increase lung capacity. We have all this. We have, we have it on, on my platform. It's called Longevity Breathing. It's a workshop you can buy. You can train every day. We did a practice on it. We, I did it many, many times. So this breathing practices are very essential part of purification. Uh, so purification is one aspect of, uh, of, of, of keeping the body youthful during aging. Purification is done through diet. We talked about it. You know, a recommendation is uh, once a week to do a fast. 
and and in Taoist book once a year you do a seven day fast. <laughs> That's pretty intense. So one day fast. And now we're talking. There's a lot of people talking about the health of intermittent fasted fasting, and you can start it easy. You can start by just lengthening the time that you're not eating, drinking more water. That would be very important to wash, to clean, to purify the internal organs. And so that's that's a very important. Also, we talked about um, diet, not eating a lot of meat. Uh, it's actually the recommended uh, dosage for meat. It's actually good to eat meat. We just say 10% meat of your diet. So if you look at your daily, um, only 10% of it should be should be meat and more fruit and vegetables. Fruits and vegetables are high, very, very good for supporting the health of the internal organs. Uh, and so mostly vegetarian diet. Yeah, so we have diet recommendation, we have uh, um, you know, breathing recommendation, and we, we talked about it last time, we, we have, um, uh, so all of these are gonna really amplify, and, and lifestyle is uh, release stress, do something that is joyful, uh, you know, if you waking up in the morning, listen to the news, I don't think you're going to be happy. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing there that is, you know, they're trying to sell you. They're trying to, you know, you know, we are, we are uh, creatures that are really, um, y- you know, we are afraid of this. Is so, so when, when, when they scare you, you, you're listening, you know, and this is the job of the news to really, um, you know, make you uh, negative news are making headlines sen- sensational. That's what, you know, this happened and this happened. And you never, you never have news about, you know, last, like, you know, last week there were, there were people practicing Qigong in the park, right? Nobody's going to listen to this news. <laughs> Nobody's going to listen to a news that's saying something good has happened. Everybody's, you know, so, so how do we keep, uh, how do we keep, our, our stress levels low, you know. Uh, another aspect that we haven't talked about yes, yeah, last time, we didn't have time, is about herbs. Oh. Herbs, uh, Chinese herbs are um, the, the only herbs that are kind of like easy to find uh, in a normal grocery store uh, that I, I was looking through, like age, age, like that support kidney chi would be uh, goji berries and ch- chisandra berries. Uh, these are uh, very, very good for the kidney. Another one that you can actually order online is, uh, but you have to be uh, careful with not doing it too much, not more than three seeds a day. It's like the lotus seed. Lotus seed are really, really good for the com- for the lung and for the kidney and the connection between the two. So that's a really powerful. Uh, if you suffer from constipation, please don't don't do it. Lotus seed really. Uh, uh, kind of strengthening your stool, like uh, densifying it, but it's uh, so no more than three seeds a day. I can try it like three times a week, but with other herbs, I would prefer that you go to an acupuncturist or Chinese doctor because some of these Chinese herbs have a strong effect on it. But like goji berry, chisander berry, these are great. All the stuff that is purple in color, like blueberries, are really good for you. Um, <clears throat> You know, we, we see it as herb, as something that tonifying the kidney. Everything that is purple, purple onion, purple cabbage, all the things that are dark are going to be supporting your jing energy in Chinese medicine. Don Quay, I don't know if you can re, uh, get that in a grocery store. Don Quay is very good for the kidney. Um, and, you know, I use it. And, and ginseng, especially American ginseng, if you have access to American ginseng, that's a beautiful, beautiful herb for longevity. It's known, uh, <clears throat> you know. Um, so, <clears throat> and the other aspect is sexual practices. So that's the last one we haven't talked about. <clears throat> so sexual practices. I'm outside and there's like a big halo around me. Let me see if I can. <laughs> okay, maybe this is better. So. Um, Sexual practices was ve- that's very important because the sexual organ connects to the kidney, so that's the the ability to um, to strengthen the kidney chi and not deplete it uh, and strengthening the sexual libido and things like that. That was really really important. 
and uh, and the practices, the sexual Taoist practices are are um, are consisting of of herbs also like ginseng would be one of them uh, and also massage of the sexual organs would be very very important to to invigorate the blood there to and it actually invigorates the kidney as well and releasing of good to like testosterone and and good hormones so there's actually protocols of specific strokes and ways of 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 really massaging the internal or the or sexual organ their reproductive system for women and for men uh for men it would be also um refraining from from over ejaculation for women actually there's no if you uh, there's no problem with that um with with <laughs> a lot of sex for instance for men actually we are uh you know there's you know the release of the sperm is is actually considered to be a a, a, a loss of the kidney energy so uh you it, it depends on age there's a whole this is a whole topic this is a huge topic the sexual i did a workshop a three week workshop on it many years ago uh for women and for men it was very very powerful um so this is uh so the sexual practice is also part of the part of um strengthening your your kidney energy and so so when if you look at it what what uh strengthen your your kidney chi the the big thing the the most important thing would be sleep like good solid sleep good more seven seven hours sleep at least especially between 11 p.m to 6 a.m you have to be asleep already and that would be really good. Just think about what happens if you didn't sleep all night, or if you have a jet lag, for instance. That would how how it feels when you have kidney kidney energy depletion. Keep yet yeah, that feels like this fatigue, this uh, scattered thoughts, this grumpiness. Yeah, that that is related to uh, to the to the kidney. So you can feel how how it feels when the kidney are not recharged. Uh, consistent good sleep would be the first thing <laughs> so that's so you don't want to draw out of the sh sh saving accounts when do we draw out of the saving accounts when we're feeling tired and then we go and have a, a, a coffee to wake us up that is a perfect example of how you take money out of your savings account <laughs> and use it yes so so this the pre -day, so most of the aging practice is related to how not to, how to be better at using postnatal chi, breath, diet, lifestyle, stress, exercise. We talked about qigong. You know, a, a gentle practice that involves breathing would be very very highly encouraged for uh, for later in life. Yeah, in the beginning of life, we want to do vigorous exercise, middle life, harmonizing practices, and later in life, uh, practices that involve breath, meditative exercise, exercises that are uh, meditative, involving breath, and, and gentle. That would be the recommendation to actually revitalize the, the, the kidney chi, the jing, and, and uh, not exerting it. Overexertion overexertion in exercise is is a is is also depleting of of chi uh like lifting really really heavy weights until really sweating a lot excess sweat is related to uh to depletion of kidney if it's a, an exertion of the body <clears throat> yeah so we want to uh later in life we want to save our energy uh uh, yeah, more save our energy and and uh, do practices. The practice of martial arts are very good, soft martial art like tai chi, or qigong, things like that. Um, so that would be that would be really kind of like the the main core uh, things that we talked about. Um, I mean, we this time we talked about herbs a little bit, or sexual practices a little bit. Um, last time we 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 kind of introduced all the rest. This is. Uh, and again, the most important thing is uh, sleep, good sleep, and <clears throat> what taxes the kidney? Stress. Stress taxes the kidney. If you are taking things 
too much uh, to heart and, and being triggered by things, you've got to work on it. You have to look at things. You have to see how you look at things differently. You have to, you have to really train. Your, you have to in, do more Qigong, more meditation. You have to see how you are responding to things differently. And, you know, usually it comes with age. You know, when we age, we have more wisdom. We don't, we're not being triggered. We're not being thrown off of our center so fast. You think that you, we know things have their own, you know, their own pace, patient, uh, you know, uh, understanding. Of, <laughs> so, but there's some people that are, are very emotional or depressed or anxious very, very fast. So uh, we want to incorporate this, these Qigong, want to in, incorporate um, uh, meditation, want uh, working with our consciousness, see how we, we look at things differently. That's very important to not <laughs> lose your essence because of just something that comes and tomorrow it's going to go, this coronavirus. Is, you know, it's almost, it's, it's almost behind us. I mean, it's, it's not fully behind, but it's, uh, you know, like how do you look at things as in, 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 a, in, a, in a span of time and, um, you, you know, and, and, everything is, is going to be okay. You know, everything is, everything is always okay at the end. <laughs> Just enjoy and have fun. <laughs> I think that's what's important in life really. And, and um, so, uh, so really these, these are the things about, uh, and it's major, but it's, there's a lot of things. There's a lot of things here, the diet the you know, and, and not to eat late at night. We talked about it last time, not to eat, big meals the big meals should be in the beginning of the day not the end refraining from a lot of grains uh, things like that there's there's a lot there but um it's also kind of very simple when you get into it breathing exercise i do breathing exercise at least twice a day for at least at least the minimum is 10 minutes and because it just it just feels really good my day is so much better i have so much more energy and so this is something that you want to incorporate into your life. That's the most important thing. How can you uh, in, improve your lung capacity? How can you train the body to breathe deeply? You know, I, I, you know because I worked with people one-on-one, -on -one, I worked with people that it's amazing how, how when you don't do breathing practice, when you're not conscious of how you breathe, how bad can you be at, at breathing? Uh, it's it's amazing. I met really people that are uh, experiencing a different health condition, and the first thing was the breath. And it's amazing how hard it is to uh, how long it takes them to really explore the the whole lung cavity and and to and to really change the way they breathe. And you have to do it daily. You have to train your mind to do daily uh, practice with this. You have to do grounding. You have to do qigong. Um, you know qigong. Also, the recommendation and Taoist recommendation is qigong twice a day. Twice a day, just ten minutes, something. You know, so that's that's very important. Uh, exercise every day. You exercise, <clears throat> and so uh, it, it's not something that should be looked as um, as a chore. <laughs> <laughs> even though maybe it maybe sounds like that but it's just like how do i because it feels better actually when you do it, it feels better if you find time in the day to do it it actually feels better you actually feel better so um so i just kind of wanted to convey this this is not a this is something that maybe you start to introduce into your life slowly and i know that here i'm teaching i'm preaching to the choir because you guys are doing it you guys are here because you're doing it uh <laughs> <laughs> but there's a lot of people that listen. This this podcast is gonna, it's a podcast gonna call the Awaken the Healer Within. We are transcribing everything, and we we have people listening to it. So I just wanted to tell people out there that, you know, start with breathing. Start somewhere. Start with X with soft exercise. You don't you don't have to meditate. People have a hard time meditating. Do qigong. Move and breathe. You know. Um, there's a lot of, there's a lot that I offer online and you can really ju jump in and, and the, the, the first step is to just 
decide that I'm going to do it right now. Because what am I doing right now? I can, I can just do two minutes of breathing, right? So I really what it takes. <laughs> so thank you so much. Let me open it for a little bit of a of, of question. Yeah, Victoria, go ahead. So I know you have the nighttime Qigong on Wednesday nights, and I know it's also online. So I don't know, is it because it says it's the evening, can you still do it during the day and in the morning? Or is it like breathing specifically to help you sleep? Mm -hmm. Or should we be looking if we want to do it a couple times a day, more at your um, longevity breathing portal? Mm -hmm. And then if we're members of uh, Chi Breaks, do we, is the breathing, the longevity breathing part of that? Okay, good, good question. Thank you. Yes. All right. For the good night Qigong, the, the breathing techniques that we're doing during the night Qigong and the practices are all about releasing stress and relax in relaxation. And you know, we are stressing all the time, all day long. <laughs> so, I mean, if you do it during the day, it would be great. Honestly, I tell you, I, this is my favorite class and it's not very well attended. There's only like four or five people online, but I, I just keep, I just keep doing it because I love it. It's such a beautiful way to release stress and to, I just, you, you know, you, you know, sometimes you, you have yawns and it's yawns and, out and it's, it's, really, uh, it's really, uh, beautiful, beautiful. Let me, uh, there's let a me, little, uh, there's a little, let me, uh, let me, let me uh, mute, guys, mute, mute you guys, mute you guys. guys. See if that's what's going to do it. What's gonna do it. Um, um, okay. I don't know why okay. there's, I don't know why there's uh, echo. echo. You hear the echo or no? You hear the echo or no? Okay. Um, um, I'm not sure how to, not sure how to, I think Judy I is, think Judy is still, uh, let's, let, uh, let's, let's mute ourselves. Okay. Is it better now? Okay. Good. Good. Yeah. I don't hear it. So, uh, yeah. Good night. Qigong. You can do it during the day. If you like, it's, it's beautiful practice to release stress. And that's, that's the breathing there. It, it's all about, it's all about like do, uh, getting more yin energy in your body. Uh, highly recommend doing it anytime if, if, you, if you don't want to do it at night. Uh, the, other one, the other question you ask if longevity practice, the longevity breathing is part of chi, chi breaks. Right. I'm going to have to ask that of my partner, Adam. I think it's not, but I'm not sure. Let me ask, um, there is, I can send you link to, um, to, to the beginning practice of it that is free on YouTube. So you can just see what it is um, from all the YouTube stuff that I have. I, I can find it pretty easily and, and maybe I'll send a link to that, to that uh, just, just a taste of longevity breathing. I'll do it. I call it Wei Chi breathing. Uh, guardian energy breathing uh, on YouTube. I'll send it to you. And um, was that all you asked? I, I don't remember. If yes, you asked. That, that was it. Yeah. Thank you okay. so much. Yeah. I appreciate it. Yeah, for sure. For sure. And then, uh, yeah, please guys, the good night Qigong has been developed since I start teaching it. It's very different now. Try it out. Um, uh, try it out. You can try it out during the day. You don't have to try it out at night too. It's, it's, it's great. I love it. It does miracle to me too. Yes. Uh, Judy, what do you, what, what, uh, what, uh... hi, <laughs> hi there. I wanted to just tell you that even though I can never do the good night Qigong in real time because I'm on the East coast. Mm -hmm. So it's mm -hmm. just too late for me. I'm already asleep, but I do it using your recordings and likewise with these um tuesday chi talks a lot of times i'm working at three o'clock in the afternoon which is what time it is and i really appreciate the fact that you put these chi talks up on the um awaken awaken whatever it's called but it was your mm -hmm. podcast mm -hmm. <laughs> so yeah. i i yeah. listen i listen to them and i just want you to know that i, I bet there's many other people like me who are you know not 
not with you in real time, but we're with you and, and learning so much. And, and I just appreciate it so much. So thank you. And I also really appreciate the people who are with you because um, hearing other people's comments is also really wonderful. So thank you to everybody who comes live and allows themselves to be recorded and then put on to uh, recording. So that, that's it. M much appreciation and gratitude. Oh, thank you so much, Judy. This, so is much, Judy. this is beautiful. This is really, this is really, this is really strengthening uh, uh, just to hear that. So it's, I, always, I always love this. This is, this, is, this is why I'm doing it for. And, and thank you so much for appreciating and sharing, sharing that like here on this platform. And yeah, I, I know a lot of people tell me that they do the good night Qigong later. Uh, so when I see four people, I know that there's actually 400, you know? <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, it's, it's great. Uh, thank you so much. Is there anything? Uh, yeah, Gail, go ahead. You know, Ellie, it, this is wonderful. And I'm sending this out to many people that are now in my age bracket, uh, involved with longevity. What I wanted to say is we are constantly bombarded with advertising of pizza and burgers and all of this, let me just say it, crap that is not healthy and not good for us. That's number one. Number two, <clears throat> there's something that I call psychic vampires where people will speak and go on and on and Amy Schumer, who some of you may know, an actress, she's hilarious and she has a husband who's autistic. And she said, one of the beautiful things about her husband is when someone is going on and on and talking about their stuff, he just walks away. I mean, he has absolutely no boundaries about, you know, trying to be nice and listen. And it comes a time when you're aged where you say, you know what? I have just X amount of time to live. And this is not something I want to listen to. And so <laughs> cut, end of story. And one of the things about you is that I do want to listen to what you say, because not only is it kind, not only is it educational, not only is it thoughtful, it's compassionate. And I thank you. Oh, thank you so much, Gail. That's beautiful. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate your guys' support. That's, that's humbling. I, thank you. Uh, yeah, I, I, I love it. And I hope to deliver the most relevant information to you and to other people. And yeah, thank you guys too, to, to appear here, like what Judy said, to ask the question, to, uh, to, to inspire other people. Because I know there's a lot of people are listening to these, uh, either from the podcast or the YouTube channel. So thank you. And, um, and uh, let's, uh, let, so as you noted, you noticed that what we started with was with cleansing breath. So that was the, the first type of breath that you can do a few minutes with. That was the, our beginning ceremony. That's a beautiful way of uh, doing uh, cleansing breath. And, uh, and let's, let's continue. Let's continue the ceremony with uh, the end of the ceremony with an energizing breath. So, uh, that would be uh, kind of going on to the um, longevity breathing technique. Yeah, what, what I'm gonna uh, try to send you. It's a little bit. It's a little bit more energizing. The first one was was cleansing. So these are the two breaths that you really should be using every day, a few times a day. All right. So let's uh, let's get a comfortable seat. Uh, erect your spine. Come into your body when you close your eyes. Enter the body, let the mind enter the body. Feel the form and shape of your body as you sit here now with all the different sensation inside of it, without the labels of good or bad, of this is pain or this is, feels good, this is bad. Just embrace all of it and all the different sensation inside as see it as aliveness. The legs, the hands, the spine is straight up to the sky. The muscles are relaxed, really give way to gravity. So 
soften the body. Softness is very important. Lao Tzu says the softness is the way of life, is the way of life. Hardness, stiffness is the way of death. So how can we be soft and flexible in our body and in our mind and in the way we go about life? How we can be gentle, soft, fluid, like water. And that's what Lao Tzu called the, the, the way of life is through this, through the softness. And listening to the breath as it comes in naturally, goes out naturally. And see if you can deepen the breath. Lengthen the breath. How do you lengthen the breath? You first put attention on the length of the breath. You notice, I'm inhaling, 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 noticing. I'm still inhaling. Oh, it stopped inhaling. I started to exhale. It changed. I go exhale, exhale, exhale. Oops, it start, stopped exhaling. And then it goes back to inhalation. Like this. Go into the length of your own breath. When you put attention on something, this, this something that you put attention to grows. If you put attention on the length of the breath, with the intention of, to lengthen it, to deepen it, it will do so naturally. And allow yourself to put your hands on the lower abdomen and feel this, the inflation of the lower abdomen on the inhale. And at the top of the inhale, hold the breath and see if you can see if you can take a few more sips of breath from the mouth. The top of the inhalation and you're still inhaling, push the belly out as you inhale. See how far you can push the belly out physically. Keep it like that for a few seconds. Feel the pressure increase inside. Exhale. From the mouth. Small opening from the mouth. You can make a letter like the letter F or the letter S. So you just don't release all the air out so quickly. And then it, and push the navel towards the spine physically on the exhale. And then again, inhale. Top of the inhalation. Pause it. Hold the breath. Increase the pressure by taking a few more sips of breath. Even though you're in the, in, in the top of the inhalation, see what you can do. See that you can inflate also the side of the belly, maybe the lower back. The whole girdle vessel is expanded. Hold it and then exhale. Inhale. So you go on your own rhythm, yeah? You don't have to match my rhythm. Everybody has different lung capacity. And maybe yours is uh, bigger or faster, whatever it is. So you just go by what you feel. I'm just instructing. Yeah, so top of the inhalation. Take another sip. Push it out. Keep, keep it at the top for a few seconds. Feel the pressure of the whole girdle vessel, side of the belly. Lower back, front, and then exhale.
you do it for a few minutes, after five minutes, you'll feel much more warmer. You'll feel very warm in the belly. If you feel warm in the belly, that's very good. Your mind should be in the lower abdomen. You don't have to do the sipping of the breath at the end if that takes you away from the meditative aspect in the beginning. So you can just do inhale, inflate and keep it, feel the pressure inside, and then go on to the exhalation with the sound. After a few minutes, you develop warmth. When you feel that warmth in the lower abdomen or perspiration in the skin, that's really, really good. And it's just, that's, that's a good sign. Uh, if you don't feel it, that's okay. You, you're going to work on it a lot until you start to feel heat generating over time. You feel the heat generating, that's the kidney energy. It's very good. All right, guys. Well, you can <laughs> open the eyes. Thank you so much for this. Beautiful. So here you have it cleansing breath and energizing breath uh more deeper um instruction would be on um on longevity breathing of of this breath pattern i'll uh see if i can find the link on youtube and i'll ask about the cheat uh, chi breaks if it's included or not i'm not sure uh otherwise thank you guys so much so good to see you i'll see you uh in class hopefully uh, soon and on thursday or 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 tomorrow bye okay. guys Thank you, Ellie. Thank you. Bye. Bye.